Thanks for joining me on this session of Exploring Artificial Intelligence. Today we are looking at some of the recent progress in generating artificial emotions for robots and video game characters. Specifically, we will be doing a walkthrough of the Autonomous Emotions Toolkit, a set of algorithms for creating biorealistic emotions. You can see the toolkit in action here on the screen where a mannequin is in the process of exploring its environment. Right now, the mannequin is traveling to random locations within the game setting. But over time, it will discover that it can accumulate rewards by visiting the cone and then proceeding to the gold sphere when the green light is on. This is called a match to sample task in animal cognition studies. The agent uses a technique called reinforcement learning to figure out the sequence of actions it needs to take to get the reward, something we humans also do via our dopamine system. Basically, we accumulate positive and negative associations regarding actions and events in our environment, which can then be used to make better and better strategic decisions. Think of how a child learns to walk. At first, it was a lot of random, confused movement. But over time, they unconsciously honed in on the correct sequence of actions to achieve their goal. This mannequin is doing something similar, and in the process, it's generating artificial emotions, which help it learn faster. Recent neuroscientific research, particularly the somatic marker hypothesis, has revealed that emotions play an intrinsic role in guiding our strategic decision making. This in fact may have been the primary reason animals evolved emotions. To get a better sense of this, let's use a thought experiment. Imagine a monkey out in the wild who is eyeing a banana tree on the other side of a gorge. In between the monkey and the banana tree is a lion. Does the monkey go for the fruit and risk being eaten by the lion, or does it stay put where it is? For the monkey, there will be some strong sense of attraction towards the fruit, but there is also the emotion of fear regarding the lion. The relative strength of these emotions will in turn be based upon many environmental variables, perhaps the size of the fruit or how aggressive and hungry the lion looks. The emotions therefore act as a kind of unconscious calculator to help the monkey weigh up the relative risk and reward of its actions. Animals, including humans, draw upon our emotions to provide these simple behavioral cues as to how best to act. The agent in our video game is also doing this. When it begins the task, it starts out as an emotional blank slate. But as it receives rewards, it starts to anticipate good outcomes when the light is on and it goes to the cone, resulting in a feeling of hope. In essence, it builds up an emotional landscape of positive and negative associations as a result of its experience. This experience can then lead to the generation of seven basic emotions, hope, fear, joy, distress, satisfaction, frustration, and uncertainty. As each of these emotions gets generated, they feed back into the reinforcement learning equation to help guide the agent's decisions. Specifically, in each instance, the character has a choice of whether to act randomly or use past experience to take a strategic action. This is what's called the exploration-exploitation trade-off, and the mannequin is using its emotions to guide that trade-off. Artificial agents endowed with an emotional feedback mechanism typically perform better in strategic decision-making than those that use pure reinforcement learning alone. Emotions help us humans make better decisions, and now they can also help robots and video game characters make better decisions too. For those looking to create high fidelity representations of animal or human behavior, whether for video games or robotic purposes, the Autonomous Emotions Toolkit can be an excellent way to add lifelike behavior and expression to your creations. I've included a link in the video description to download the toolkit and also some links to related academic papers.